Welcome to the Pizza Show. Special guest here today. All right, calm down, mate. Jack Smelly. Calm he down. is a fucking marketing guru. What else? What else do you do? Graphic design. Graphic design. The graphic design. And Luke is a Sparky. He is I'm an sparky, electrician. Mate. He does, he does the work. He puts his hand where other people can't. Been his sparky for 13 years. So 13 years. He's an yeah, old mate. bloke. He's, he's doing it bloody hard. I'm going to sit down in my chair. I've got some exciting topics today. First of all, today is a special day. Um, we lost in the soccer. The girls lost. England. England. This guy's English, bro. Fuck him. What do you think about this? So, is this like thoughts on the Tillies, on the Matildas? Um, I have like a sort of funny anecdote. So, my sleep's been a bit fucked recently Mm -hmm. because I've had like really bad jet lag. Mm -hmm. So, like basically it'll hit like six, seven o'clock and I'll just like pass out, right? And then I'll wake up and I'll be like, oh shit, like have I been asleep for 20 minutes? Have I been asleep for an hour? Like no idea, right? And then I try to go to bed at like 10 and then I wake up at like 2. And then I go to work at fucking, you know, eight. Um, but basically, so I was watching the Tillies mm-hmm. and we were one nil down first yeah. half. Not good. And then, so I'm watching the second half and then it's one, one all. I'm like, mate, brilliant. And then I blink and then two and a half men's on. <laughs> and I was like, wait, dad, what happened to the game? He's like, mate, game's over. I was like, what do you mean the game's over? And he flicks it over and we're three, one down in the 90th minute. <laughs> I was like, what happened? <laughs> so, yeah. So I only watched like 55 minutes of the game. And um, did you guys actually watch the game? No. Yeah, I saw like half of it in the city because I was going to go to Fed Square and then like, I I, like we got kicked out. You got kicked out they didn't let us in. Well, we had like a reservation in the restaurant. And that was like Eleni's smart way to get around like not getting let in. And they didn't let you in the restaurant either. And it wasn't in the restaurant people. It was like Victoria, the the... The Seckies. Of what? Of the restaurant? No, of, of like Fed Square. They blocked off the restaurant. Fed Square is like a public area. How do you get kicked out of Fed Square? I just put like things around it and they didn't let you in. Okay. So you didn't watch it? I saw it on like outside of a bar. Okay. Well, did you watch it? Nope. I know you didn't. Nope. As if you didn't watch it, surely that's like the thing you would watch. Like it's England versus Australia in soccer. I know. I, I know, I, I <clears throat> What's going on there? If I'm honest, I I don't know, I never really I haven't I haven't f I don't follow you women's hate women. Yeah, Jack. Tell us the truth. No, I don't follow women's sports but I do feel it's a bit I do feel a bit guilty I have to say about not watching not supporting England. Even when they won Supporting England? You know? Surely you would support Australia, mate. Australia? Australia? Mate, I got. I can't forget my roots, fam. You know, so like. Did you guys? Did you guys hear like in Australia it was the last match, not the one where we lost, the one where we won. Against France. Was like the most viewed sporting event in Australian yeah, history. It's pretty mad, isn't it? Like. <laughs> no, but like seriously, like how, I guess that just shows like how popular soccer is, you know? Because like it's what more, more viewed than the Ashes, more viewed than like. Rugby World Cup, Basketball World Cup, you know, so. Yeah, I thought it was interesting. I was thinking like, okay, people like shit on women's sports a lot. Mm. But maybe, I think that Australia just doesn't have that many good international teams and like many sports right now. And when we get one, it's like, yeah. Well, I watched the highlights of the England versus Australia Mm -hmm. game. And... um. I watched the highlights and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna watch more highlights. I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna watch more of the you know other games that've been played. And I like looked at you know how they play and what you know what's what you know what's going on. And they're pretty good. You know, like Sam Kerr scored an absolute screamer. Yeah. Um, that would go in. I'm sure in many professional male games. Um, so do you think Sam Kerr is the most iconic Australian athlete? No. No? No, I don't. Um, so who do you think is, if she's not? The most iconic Australian athlete? 
Well, we were always taught about in England about Kathy Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, like, she was the... And it's not wasn't just in in sport that she made a difference. You know, she... She... Um, did great things for improving racial discrimination um, against, you know, the Aboriginals. So. A legend. You know, when I was swimming instructing, I would see Kathy Freeman all the time. Really? Yeah, she would just come to the pool. She would come to the pool? I'm trying to get in the mic. So I lean over. So tell, tell us this pool story of Kathy Freeman, Jack. Um, there's not much to tell. She would just like show up and just swim a few laps. But what I was going to say before is like my analysis of the 55 minutes of the game I watched before I fell asleep is that England were like 100% going to win that game. Like they were so much more meticulous and so much more like methodical with like the way they would attack. Whereas, well, I mean, you guys didn't watch the game, but like Australia, every time we'd get the ball, we'd just bomb it forward and hope that like Sam Kerr would just run to the ball and like score a goal. Mm. So I feel like... I think we also like really set up set up ourselves for failure because like there was so much hype going in, especially after we beat France, mm. and it was like you know if we win we get a public holiday, but it's like Is that true? yeah no that's a thing like Albanese like said that oh, okay. I'm pretty sure um, that's cool but like we had to first, so first we had to beat England another who, public holiday yeah mate how many public holidays do you Aussies need. <laughs> I, I'm not complaining. I mean, we got like a year and a half of public holidays in this state for like, from yeah. like the, the government. We st we've still got the Queen's birthday. The King's birthday. King's birthday, mate. Queen's dead. Yeah. Queen's dead. But, well, there you go. Um, <laughs> Thanks. But like, yeah, so first we had to beat England and then we had to beat, who, like, and England were like the favourites going in. Like, I feel like if you didn't know who the favourites were, I feel like you would think with like how much hype there was going in, you're like, oh, Australia's like definitely going to win. Like, Prime Minister says, oh, if we win, we get a public holiday. But then, you know, we would have had to beat England and then we've had to beat, you know, another team <laughs> that I'm not sure. But yeah, like, I feel like we sort of set ourselves up for failure there. But it would have been sick if we won, eh, you know? Yeah, I think that's true. I was just like going, I'm like, bro, we're not going to win this. <laughs> I'm like being realistic. What do you mean? Because it was just like, oh, well, I mean, like we were meant to, we were surprised we won like three games ago or something. Yeah, I feel like that's sort of continued. Right. Okay, Riley, so who would you say is the most iconic Australian athlete? Um, I mean, right now, I'd say Ash Barty's like up there. She just got to like the top of like women's tennis. <laughs> You don't know, you don't know. No, I fucking do. I just forgot. So you said Kathy Freeman, you said Ash Barty. Well, she played yeah. cricket too, didn't she? doesn't she? She like was really good at women's cricket. And then she just went into tennis and was like the best female tennis player in the world. And then she just got like to the number one spot. She like won fucking Wimbledon and shit. And then she's like, I'm done. She's still, I mean, she's still like young. She can still like win shit. She yeah, just like went out at the top. I just think there's definitely way more iconic Australian athletes, like a hundred percent. But was like, she with, like female, female? Yeah, Kathy Freeman's up there. I thought, thought you did say none. Um, Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps, Isn't he the American, American swimmer. I thought he was, I thought he was fucking <laughs> Australian. We, we had a, we had a fucking swimmer. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure we had a swimmer. Well, there's a couple around, yeah. Michael Phelps. Yeah. Oh, you say Bolt. <laughs> no, I swear, I swear, I swear we had a fucking oh, oh, Lewis Hamilton, Michael, Michael Jordan, LeBron James. Oh, yeah, got, can't forget LeBron. Tom Brady, he'd be up there. Um, <laughs> classic, all these classic Aussie athletes, yeah. Breaking right, boundaries. Say, like, male, female. Messi, you know. Who is the most iconic? Because that's what people have been saying. The Sam Kerr is the most. Well, I think, like, I've heard people say that. Especially if we won the World Cup, that like Sam Kerr would become like the most iconic or like the most, I don't know, the most outstanding Australian athlete. The thing is, is that coming, going back to the point of how popular soccer is, um, I can see how that would happen because winning, a, winning the World Cup, you know, like, the soccer World Cups are probably the biggest sporting event in the world. The Olympics. Um, I don't know. Aside for, I think, I don't know, I think. The no, World Cup. I mean, as a single, Who's as a single seriously? event. Seriously, that's another point. As a single event, who the hell is watching the Olympics? I watch a lot. You watch a few of them. The it, I have no fucking interest in the Olympics <laughs> at all. It is so boring. Like, 
yeah, okay, if there was someone from England, you know, who's killing it, absolutely breaking, smashing records. But no, there isn't. You only care so, about the Olympics or the events, like, when your country's good at it. So, like... Usually, like, you watch the swimming, because Australia's quite good at swimming. See, we do have Australian swimmers. No, you're thinking of that guy, I can't remember his name. He's definitely not Michael Phelps. Not Michael Phelps. <laughs> yeah. Look up, like, iconic Australian swimmer. Steve Basically, Irwin. I think most iconic Australian athlete would probably be, like, Don Bradman, surely, like, the GOAT of cricket. Or Shane Warne. Or... Yeah, Shane Warne. I don't know. Peter Siddle, mate. Got a hatchet on his birthday. That's do do you think they have to... <laughs> uh, okay, so here's a question, right? So it's like, what are the, who are the most like popular Australian athletes right now? And then part of me is like... I mean, technically... Well, right now, Sam you could, would be like number one. I know, I'd say like technically you could say someone like fucking... I don't know, basketball, Ben Simmons? Well, everyone hates Ben Simmons. Yeah, but like, like he's well known, but he, does, he doesn't like play for Australia. Yeah, that, so he doesn't... The, uh, does he count? Tennis player. <laughs> No, nah, what's the what's Kyrgios. his name? Kyrgios, yeah. Yeah, Kyrgios, yeah. He's yeah. pretty iconic, and but he's got an attitude too. He's he's pretty legendary. Yeah, everyone likes him, but like he's like honestly, he could be like the best tennis player if he just like pulled his finger out, basically. You know, he like he said he said like publicly like he doesn't train nearly as much as like the other top tennis players in the world after he loses because he's like oh if i train too much then i hate tennis and then i don't want to do it after he loses i, th I think it's kind of like a mix so i think when you get really good at tennis there's like a mental aspect and then you can just like wig out and still win once you pass what? a certain, sk certain skill threshold I'm a tennis expert. Well, my family plays tennis i think about tennis a little bit um who's like the best tennis player in your family uh mm. brody okay yeah so I can see that. Brody. Brody was on the first episode. He was the um, Australian Open runner-up. Oh, right. Yeah, he I did not even know Australian that. Open. Say that again. Australian Open runner-up. He came second place. In the Australian Open? Yeah. Well, obviously he didn't. He did. <laughs> in the Australian Open, he was yeah. a runner-up. Yeah, he, what, came, he, he came second in who can hit the ball the hardest. <laughs> Which is still impressive. Uh, yeah. Yeah, mate. I can... Yeah. It's not... Quite as impressive as being the runner-up in the Australian. Well, he well, he's still the runner-up. He came second place, and who could hit the ball the hardest? It, on on, on a serve, that. like uh, the hardest, on a serve, yeah. hardest serve. Yeah, that's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, but like he he got like he got like, like taxi he, driving. he yeah, got like two thousand dollars. Did he have to it. hit it in the box or just <laughs> hit in it the box. anywhere? It was in the box because I could hit a pretty hard tennis shot. Anyway, because yeah. this was because like think about who's going like doing this right. It's like all the everyone who plays tennis locally or like even within the country and wants to go see the Australian Open, they have access to do this thing and potentially win like five grand or something. And then he and he won that. He won. He came second place. How much did he win? Like one and a half grand or something. Yeah. So he's better at tennis than you. Oh yeah, definitely. That's all a right, good you prize. Brody in a fight, who would win? <laughs> I don't know. Probably Brody. I feel like he's got more. Yeah, Brody's. Brody's like... Brody's pretty fucking massive, isn't he? Yeah, he's a big boy. Is he taller than you? Yeah, he's taller. Yeah. Okay, speaking of fights... Um, what but he's, guys pretty, he's, he, he's not a fighter, though. He's more of a lover. He's a lover. He's a lover. He's a lover. Mm. What do you guys think about the... Um, is the Elon Zuckerberg thing happening? The fight? Well, um, Dana oh. White says, like, he would, like... Um, I don't know what you would call it. Like, organise it, you know? Yeah. Um, facilitate. Yeah, facilitate it. So... <laughs> I feel like it won't happen, but it would be pretty awesome. Who do you think would win? Zocky. Zocky. Z well, apparently Zuckerberg, like, does a lot of MMA training. Yeah. Like, he trains, like, uh, I don't know, like, kickboxing and stuff like that. Whereas Elon Musk doesn't really do anything. I'm kind of pissed off with Elon, because I feel like he was instigating the fight. He kept, like, bringing shit up about the fight. And then Zuckerberg's like, yeah, you know, but you're not going to, like, do it. And he's like, yeah, I was joking. I was joking. And then he's like, now I'm not... He's, he's, a, he's a bitch. Fuck Elon. What, Elon Musk? Yeah. yeah. What a he has got... I mean, he has got a reputation to uphold as like a... He's, isn't he going into space? <laughs> isn't <laughs> he going to Mars? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to send people to go back down from fight. Yeah, no like... How much money you have. Imagine Ooh. watching the bloke who's about to send... Imagine you're an astronaut and Elon Musk calls you and... He's like, oh, we've got a, a rocket and we're going to go up to Mars, right? It's all sorted. And then the astronaut goes home. He's like, goes to the wife. Oh, I'm gonna, I've got a job. You know, I'm going to Mars. It's going to be amazing. Dream come true. And then they turn the TV on, sit down, have a drink. 
And Elon Musk is battling it out with Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg on TV in the UFC. Yeah, you'd be like, this is and awesome. Joe Rogan is popping off on the side of the cage like, <laughs> you know, doesn't know what's going on. And then, yeah, like that would be a bit of a... It would be a great event. They wanted to do it in the Coliseum. Yeah, like I saw that. Like, yeah. like that, like when you hear stuff like that, it's like, oh, okay. It's I mean, that'd be happen. sick. That'd be sick though. It's gonna, gonna happen in the Coliseum. If they have the money like, for it, yeah. They... Yeah, but like, imagine they that's both. Just not gonna happen. Imagine really Zuckerberg too. and Elon Musk put in for. They could put in millions. I, of dollars I, I, like when you hear stuff fight. like that, it's just like, oh, obviously it's not gonna happen. It's like, oh yeah, Elon Musk will fight Zuckerberg. It's like, oh yeah, oh, and it'll happen at the Roman Coliseum. It's like. Okay, like, I feel na- like it now happen. you're just taking the No, I feel like it could happen, because it's, like, that scale. It's, like, the two two biggest, like, two richest people, and also, like, very public figures. Why hasn't a fight at the Roman Colosseum already happened? Because no one's had that money. What do you mean? Dana White has money. How much money does Dana White have? A lot. He's a fucking CEO of UFC. Does he have, like, $100 billion? Well, no. $100 billion. Um, I hate to be... A, a nuisance yeah. but um pizza it's probably yeah i was thinking that it's probably time for pizza yeah come back and we'll discuss whatever this is it's going to be very interesting no it's not see you guys in in a second yeah i bet i'm just gonna record some of this pizza i'm gonna look i'm gonna look and it's really shit eating the pizza it doesn't look like no bad <laughs> It looks not great, but it is great. Mm. Mm. All right. Carrots. Mm. Good pizza. Great pizza, Riley. Well yeah. done, mate. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to hear. Good dough, mate. Thank you. Great dough. So we're back proper. We're eating pizza, and I'm going to reveal what this image is. Um, I'll probably show it on screen, editing the video. So, have you guys heard we have potentially found a new biggest animal of all time? Yeah. No. So, you know how the blue whale is like the biggest animal we, we know of? Yeah. We apparently now know of one bigger than that. And this is what it might look like. What about like the giant Hang on, my hands are a bit squid. greasy. The giant squid doesn't weigh that much. And I don't think it's as big. Okay. Describe, describe it, Luke. What does it look like? What, is, what does it look like to you? Well, <clears throat> for the listeners out there. It's definitely, it is an ocean creature. It's an ocean? Thank yep. God. Yep. Thank God that yep. there is not a land Very creature observant. bigger than the blue whale. I mean, actually, no, I can't. That would be mint. But anyway, um, what's the? Uh, I've got there's a there's a bloke down the. Shit job describing there's it. a fish. I mean, it's just a big fish. You show you've shown oh, me, me a okay. really big fish. It looks a bit like a seal, crossed with a. Um, an. Like a frog. Um, that pizza a bit burnt, but it's and good pizza. it's kind of got like a Labrador sort of nose. And then it's got a little baby down the bottom. It's got a really small head, a tiny like, little head. It looks like a shark. The baby looks like a shark with... It just looks like a shark, really. But yeah. How would you describe it, Jack? All right, this is like a dolphin mixed with a seal. Mixed with... Um, the tail's throwing me off. What has a tail like that? Maybe like a fish. Wait, is that like a leg? What is that? You know when a f- you well, know. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess you guys can guess what kind of animal it is. You know when a frog. No, you said not, a f- you said you you said frog. Nah, Jack, see, this is why, I'm, this is why I. Sh- Go on. You know what happened? You know how a frog becomes a frog. Tommy. Tadpole. <laughs> right. Tadpole, and then. It becomes like a mutant sort of ninja turtle. Yeah, like with it grows a little tail and then little legs, and then that is exactly what the tail looks like on that fish. Well, there you go. Maybe if you said tadpole, you go, well, I would have backed you, but you said frog. So you can't, you don't have the um, ability to decipher 
What is this next to it? A little swordfish or something? That's a, that's a, a fish. Is that for scale? I think so. I think that's a. Well, um, you've just shown us a, a picture of a couple of fish. I think that's we a that. swordfish, yeah. And you're saying that it's bigger than the blue whale. Mm -hmm. Surely this water is way too shallow for this animal. So, yeah. <laughs> so this. No way be swimming in shallow water. This like animal is called the Peru Peru Cetus, I think, because it was found in Peru. Is that alive? They found a vertebrae. They found one of its vertebrae and some of its other skeleton, right? And it was like basically like as big as a fucking boulder. It was like this this fucking big, right? Like if you see if you see this, it was like this fucking big, a single vertebrae. Mm -hmm. Um, they have decided that it is a proto whale. So it is a whale before whales were like proper things. Yeah. And not only is it it is approximately by their estimates, I think, like twice as heavy as a blue whale. And was designed to be very heavy, similar to to a hippo, right? So apparently, its idea is it just sinks around areas very easily, and just kind of goes into shallow areas and just bullies the whole ecosystem in one go. But how? But I don't know how. What the fuck does it eat? It's got a little head. Yeah. What is it eating? Well, it's got little it like anything? hands like this. Yeah. Well. Well, they say it has a, like it probably has a little head because all the other ones in its family have like little heads. But how does it? What um, does it eat? They don't have its skull. They have the rest of like the skeleton. We don't know what it eats. What do you think it eats? Because the thing that Blue big, whales. the thing that because the thing that eats, like, a thing that big, the only thing I can imagine it eating and sustaining itself because it's a carnivore apparently, is. The, it to sustain that size, twice the size of a, a blue whale, it would have to be eating something the size of Joe Mama. It's twice the size of... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's twice the size of... Um, he just cut that off to put it... <laughs> what? Um, eat That's it, right. eat was it. That, what, was that, that was my piece. Yeah, he just stole my piece. there, mate? Well, because I was, I was having a sip. All right, well, take it back. No, you've already grabbed it now. All right. We need, this is why we need the table, like, I'm holding microphones, I want to eat pizza. I need to get a little table, a baby table or something. So you said, okay. it's, you said this thing's twice the size of the blue whale. Yeah, in terms of mass, yeah. Right. That's what they estimate. Could be a little more, could be a little less, but they, they're pretty confident that it is bigger, it is heavier than a blue whale. If all the animals in the world fought each other, who would win? Um... That's a stupid question. What do you mean? Actually, no, it's not. That's a good question. Probably a killer whale. Um, How is a killer whale going to kill a grizzly bear? Yeah, but you have to... How is a grizzly bear going to kill a killer whale? Great question. I reckon polar bear. That's a good answer. They can swim pretty well. I feel like they're pretty you're massive. Be on land. I feel like they're still going to get... Body okay, so are we talking about land animals? Are we talking about... Well, I just animals? feel like you've got to be on land to win. Mm. You can't just be fucking swimming around the ocean and be like, I oh, will. That's like pussy old shit. Um, living animals, it probably would be something like a grizzly bear if it's just one animal. Mm. Okay. Nah, I reckon an Do elephant. Do you know what the correct answer is? An elephant would probably win. It's an elephant. Yeah. Really? Probably something an elephant would win. I mean... An elephant would just fucking stomp on a grizzly bear. Though. Yeah. Also, a grizzly bear, how are they going to, like, bite an elephant? They could probably... Claw it. I mean, like an elephant's skin is like, yeah. Elephants got like fucking tusks. Because elephants lose to packs of lions. Elephant, elephants, packs of lions. Yeah, so you're probably right. Lions, you're probably right. right. Yeah. Elephants have got bunda, big bunda, yeah. yeah. As well. What about man? I mean, yeah, we win. We, we body everything. But body. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, if we don't get like ambushed or something, get crocodiled. Okay. If you were in a room <laughs> with either a crocodile, a bear, a tiger, or, um, no, that's it. Bear, tiger, crocodile, and you had to survive, which one would you pick? Trapped in a room with one. A what? A bear? Hang on. I need on your phone, mate. I oh, know. This is, this is, this is, very this is not on. I have to say, I am... Um, I reckon a tiger. Incorrect. Because the crocodile is going to fuck you up if it gets annoyed. No, nah, a crocodile would just fucking stay there, like, docile. Mm. 
Whereas a tiger, it's going for you, mate. I reckon I could just outmaneuver a crocodile. I'm, I'm back. Know, yeah, but so they're not bear, agile. Bear, hang on, room in a bear, crocodile. Tiger. Tiger. But they're all in the same room. No, no, no. So you have to pick. You got to pick one oh. to survive with, right? What's your best chance? What would you pick? Bear, crocodile, tiger. Hmm. Probably a crocodile. Correct. Yeah. That's definitely the correct. You could thought. ride a crocodile. I could jump over a crocodile. Hmm. A Easy tiger, way. you are. Tiger, you're fucked. You're bollocks. Bear, you're fucked. Bear, there's just no chance. It, 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 even if it's like a little. Maybe not, <laughs> maybe not a koala, bear. but like, I don't know, a, a, a black bear? Some bears, I think that's the cool one. I don't even know that many... Panda bear, panda bear. I don't even know that many bears, I to be honest. I don't think I could fuck up a panda bear, but I think it'd be very docile. You couldn't even fuck up a teddy bear. <laughs> Probably not. I feel bad about it. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Mm. I can't believe we found something bigger than a blue whale. That is pretty mental. But I still. What about the squid, man? Giant squid. Well, like this isn't the biggest in terms of like size, but it's the biggest in terms of mass. I mean, it, it could be. It's probably the biggest in terms of size as well, but in terms of just mass. That makes you think, mate. What else is down there? Well, this Aliens. wasn't really down there. This was Nazis. Just, this was in Peru. Right? Nazis. This wasn't down there. This was just in Peru, straight up. This yeah, but like the fact that it took so long. What? They just found it like on the shore. Oh, if they felt felt like a fucking desert or something. Yeah, so it just like washed the shore, right? No, nah, like fucking yonks. It would have been. Just it would have been living in this like in deserts the used to be. C. Like, Wait, right? Is it a mammal? Didn't yeah. the Sahara no, used to be? Yeah. Didn't the Sahara used to be a massive body of ocean back in the day? Yeah, I mean, most of a lot of deserts were, I think. Yeah. Do you know that last piece of pizza? I'm fucking gonna steal it if no one else is. Have it, mate. It's all yours. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, sorry, bro. Kind of just let loose. Mm. Um. Do you ever think about how we don't know what dinosaurs sound like? We do. No, we don't. We have no idea. We're just guessing. So they, well, we think they were like made this like big scary like scream noise, right? But they could have made any noise. They could have moved. They could have meowed. They could have woofed. I feel like they would have. They would have. <laughs> meow. Yeah. Broad. Why do you what you don't know shit? Why do you say that? Because like Tiger. Would, lion. Anything that's right, scary. So a T Rex and a lion, right? Mm -hmm. Why would these two animals that are, are nothing alike make the same noise? Well they wouldn't make the same noise, but they would make a noise. Yes, they would make a noise. I know for a fact that a T Rex roars. What how do you know that? Because I just know. You don't know shit. I do, I just know. Um, you know crocodiles like make a noise? They go like... They make a pretty scary yeah, noise. Yeah. They go like... I can't do yeah. a crocodile. Go on. But they go like... Um, it's, it's like, like a, a deep, croaking noise. It's like a rumbling. Kind yeah. of like... No, a very familiar. deep like... <laughs> it, it's a real, I, can't, I can't do it. It's like a really deep rumbling kind of noise. It's a very scary noise. Yeah, kind of like what Luke's doing. But not less human. Because people yeah. said, like, the T-Rex didn't... Uh, this is the second time I'm talking about fucking T-Rex on the <laughs> fucking podcast. So well, it's the most interesting topic of conversation. They didn't say it. They said it didn't roar, and then... Wait, who said this? I don't know, science. Another, science. No. What? Oh, you know, Dr. Fal <laughs> Dr. Fauci. So he said the T-Rex didn't roar, and now I think it roars. No, but you said you said it on the podcast. Yeah, we talked about, like, yeah, the T-Rex and the feathers. I fucking did. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I reckon, like, well, very I reckon the T-Rex roar. I reckon the T-Rex roar. I think a lot of animals roar across the whole world. Okay, here's something crazy. Two animals roar. Topic of sperm sperm whale. You can, if you go next to a sperm whale when it wants to be loud, it will just pulverize your insides. Like it will just melt your fucking organs. Because well, of the sonar. 
Oh, right. If they want to, they can apparently make noises up to, um, I think, like 200 or like 500 kilometers away. What kind of decibels are we talking about? <laughs> Big, massive fucking decibels. Ones that are loud enough to like shatter your, um, like, break, turn you into mush. You want to know something interesting? What? How many, how many amps do you think a lightning bolt carries on average? Let's just. Let, let me I, just I, I don't know the fucking electricity That's equations. Okay, so. <clears throat> Thirty thousand amps, right? Let me put that into context for you, right? Your your home, this whole house, probably runs off a hundred amps. Of like a hundred amp fuse. Yep. That's a whole. That's all the you know aircon heating everything. Hundred amps. Yeah. Thirty thousand amps in one go. What voltage though? Um. I don't know. Be, it, I don't know. It'd, it'd be pretty high. It'd be high, but I feel like it might be. A, I hate doing electricity. I mean, People show me an electricity diagram. Have you seen these, Jack? The the volts. I think I don't fucking get it. I don't get how it works. It's pretty easy. It's, sparky, it's, it's all sparky. it's Ohm's law, mate. You just yeah, Ohm's law, and I just don't get how it. One's like how fast it goes, one's like how much force it has, and one's like how much. There's a picture of that explains electricity really well. Yeah, there's a picture. I still don't get it from the picture. It's like yeah, I'm not. I probably won't. I, I don't want to explain it, it now. I saw someone made it with anime girls the other day, and I still don't get it. What? I made a picture when they put anime girls over the electricity. Uh, As a way to describe yeah, how electricity works. Yeah. And you still didn't get that. I still didn't get it, even with the anime girls. I yeah, didn't, right. It didn't help me at all. You just had a spaff instead. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What do you think oh my that? god. No! <laughs> Caught out. No. Um, so, yeah. The whales. The biggest things. Surely you had another topic. I did have other topics. Yeah. Yeah, like um. I think we've moved past the wire. Okay, <laughs> why do so many Australians go to fucking Europe? Because Australia's shit. Is it? I mean, nah, it's winter. Australia's beautiful. Nah. But like, Shut up. Nah. Europe. Australia. All right. Well, okay. Australia's good. Melbourne. It's pretty wank. It's pretty wank weather. It's shite weather. Yeah. Well, like. Oh, that's all I would say. Like, and that's why. Well. I mean, Europe's just great. Like, Americans don't really go to Europe because Americans don't travel outside of America. Um, you still do. I still did bump into a lot of Americans in Europe. Um, you know, like, you know, like the typical American family you see, like, in Hollywood films, right? Americans in real life are exactly like that. Like, the whole dynamic, like, the mum, dad, like, son, daughter thing. Yeah. They're exactly like that in really? real life. Yeah. It really it took me back because I just thought it was like a caricature sort of thing. It's just it's just real. Maybe it's just the the thing they put out in the world. Yeah. Do they? Would you like? Is it sort of stuff where the, there's like a whole family and the dad's the son's like, oh, I'm, I'm, he runs back to the family. He's like, oh, I'm back, I'm back. And then the dad's like, oh, <laughs> hey, back, I'm dad. You know, like classic I think that's American. Just everyone. Everyone's like that though. What I noticed traveling around Europe is that like you really got to like get you know your travel bug like done before you have kids because the amount of like is this okay yeah i think so i'll just check it the amount of like snot-nosed kids you see running around europe with their <laughs> parents like chasing after them it's just like oh fuck me like you don't even get to enjoy yourself you know like i saw this one american family in europe and their son is just being like fucking dickhead and like i was doing this um uh, like walking tour thing of the Louvre in Paris, right? And um, the, the, at the start, the, gu the guide lady is like, so does, is everyone's like earpiece working? Because she talks into a microphone and it goes into your ear. And everyone, everyone's like, yep, it's working, right? 30 minutes in, the son's like, oh, mine's not working. It's like, what happened? Why, why didn't you say anything at the start? Why are you like now saying something? And the dad had to give his earpiece to the son and so the dad like didn't get to hear like any of the like 
tour. My dad would have been like, too bad, mate. I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah. That's what I say with like these like typical American. They, they were just like so like happy-go-lucky. The dad was like, oh, son, you have mine. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, was, they're Americans, mate. I don't know, mate. Probably that one on the right. I was going to say the one on the left. Okay, hot tip if you want to go to the Louvre, right? Buy a ticket beforehand. Dude, fuck, okay. I've got stories on this. Keep going, though, Jack. So I had a ticket beforehand. I was doing this walking tour, like I was talking about. So I walk into the Louvre. Uh, well, not into it, like the area, right? And it's all like, you know, the, like if you've seen it, like the triangles like coming out of the ground and shit. Mm. And like, it all looks very nice. Um, but I walk in... And the line is like fucking wrapping around Paris, basically. Like the line is so fucking long. I would estimate probably like two and a half hour wait to go into the Louvre, right? But I bought a ticket beforehand, just walked in. And it's like, boom, straight away walked in. I was in, the, I was in there for maybe two hours and then I left. You know what I mean? Like, so hot tip. Definitely one. It was there's like a lot of things you can do in Europe where you don't really need to buy a ticket beforehand. You can just rock up, buy a ticket, go in. Yeah. But the Louvre, because it's so popular, definitely 100% buy a ticket before you go in because it's so fucking popular. And the line literally wraps around the entire fucking city. Yeah, so. I, I had a fucking story of this, dude. I went to Paris. Then I had to buy like a ticket in advance. And then we get to Paris. So they're for like two, day, for two three days, three days. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna buy, I gotta, I'll buy some tickets to the Louvre. I'll be organized. I want to just show up without tickets. I look it up. It's like booked out for fucking like three weeks. With the vinyl line. Yeah. And then I found oh, out a website <laughs> where you could, I found a website where they already pre-bought tickets to the Louvre, included with like a fucking Paris ferry ride. What is the Louvre? It's a big museum. It's where the, they got the Mona Lisa is. Da Vinci? Oh, so, Da you Vinci. Know why the Mona Lisa is so famous? Um, because of her, so, the way she, she always looks at you differently when you see it or something like that? No. So, first of all, Leonardo uh, Da Vinci... Um, painted it but second of all uh it was like stolen like it was like stolen from the louvre in like oh uh, the, the guy the lady told me but i forget now in like the 15th century or something it was fucking stolen and so when it was stolen it was like a big fucking deal like the press was like gone wild like the mona lisa's been stolen like da vinci's painting and then they got it back yeah. and so that is why it's so popular so if you ever see it i mean everyone always says this when you see it First of all, it's tiny. It's like, you know, it's no, this I mean, big, it's, it's right? Big. If you if you want to get like a selfie with it, like right next to it. <laughs> Riley feels pretty strong. About no, the it's size definitely of not that big. It's way smaller than that. No, it's, it's like, it's a good size. Yeah. It's a good size. Okay, it's, it's a projection. good size. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's fucking tiny, mate. It's it tiny, does, right? It if you job. want to fucking um, get a selfie with it, job. right? You've got to wait in line. So you've already waited two and a half hours to get into the fucking Louvre. Now you want a selfie with the Mona Lisa. You've got to wait like 90 minutes to get it no I didn't because I'm not yeah, a I fucking idiot you. I just saw Paige Kelly's Skelly story I don't see Jack's story Are you, well, you got Paige Kelly on Insta no he's just kept reposting Paige Kelly's story <laughs> okay yeah um, but like basically you can walk you can walk past someone Lisa and take some snaps of it that's what I did right and if you're taller it helps because you can like get over the crowd yeah. but yeah, it's just like a stamp, mate. You walk through the Louvre, every paint. There's like a million other paintings that are way more impressive than a Mona Lisa, right? It's only because Da Vinci uh, painted it, and because it was stolen back in the day. So it's not because it's like, oh, it's so impressive, or oh, it's like, oh, it's a. It's also been. It's in, like it's comparatively been in a lot to the rest, it's well. nothing special. Like it's had a lot of hype with movies, you know, like. But that's why it's so high. It's because it was stolen back in the day. Mm. It's not because it was like masterfully... Like, look, it's a nice painting or whatever, but like... But it'll it's last not, it's, forever. It's not way more impressive than the other paintings of that era. Do you reckon it'll last forever? So apparently they, they moved it a couple times. They moved it to America like 15 years ago. And I think they moved it to Japan like 10 years ago. But now they're not going to move it anymore because it's like really fragile. So if they move it, they're afraid it'll break. Can they... I'm sure they do. I'm sure if they just leave it where it is, like it's gonna stay there for fucking like hundreds of years. But it's they used to because that's what they do with paintings. I mean, they they move them around, 
like you know they take them to like different cities and different countries but yeah. because it's like so old and so fragile now they're like no nah, we're not going to move it anymore oi so i went to a few um museums in europe right um i went to the i went to the louvre of and then I went to um, the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. And some people looking at paintings take the piss, right? So when you go to see a painting, yeah. uh, or for me anyway, you go up to see a painting, oh, that's a fucking nice painting. Oh, take a photo of that, on to the next one, right? You stare at it for maybe 20 seconds max, mm. right? Some people stand like prime position, like dead right in front of it. And they, it's, always too, it's always like a guy and a girl. They just stand there going, I mean, wow. I mean, look at the. Geez. I mean, you can, you can really tell about the. Like, what, what are you? What are you looking at? Like, you, you're not fucking. You're not. You didn't paint it yourself, mate. Move on. So there was like in the Louvre, there was like this uh, Van Gogh section, right? And there was a really popular like Van Gogh painting, and so there's like a small crowd of people. And what you do is you like slowly nudge forward. You know, people take a photo, move out, and someone takes their spot, take a photo, move out, right? There was this guy, like, arm around his his partner, and he's just like, talk, he was talking a foreign language, I don't know what he was saying, but he's just like, oh, blah, 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 oh, blah, 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 like, for minutes. It's like, mate, what are you doing? And then some, like, legend just goes up to him, he's like, hey, mate, could you get out of the way so people could take photos of the painting? And then he looks at him, he goes, yeah, okay, and he gets out of the way. I wanted to knock that guy out. Like, what are you fucking doing, mate? I mean, there's some paintings that I think you could stand there for like five minutes. Like How much one. did you have like to the pay? One Napoleon getting crowned, that's the sick one. You saw that one? Don't know what you're talking about, mate. How much did you have to pay? Never mind. Uh, for the Louvre? Mm. So, I did this walking tour thing. It was like 26 euros. So, what's that? Like, almost like 40 Australian dollars. So, pretty pricey. But if you don't do the tour, it would have been cheaper. Um, but mate, you're in Europe, you're in fucking Paris, you're in the Louvre, you can splurge a little bit, you know, go crazy. Why not? You only live once. Bit of splurging. But yeah, yeah that, oh. that was just something that grinded my gears a little bit. Riley, I disagree with you. There's really not that many paintings. You can stare at it for five. Okay, so another example. There was another painting, like this massive painting. The massive one. The massive one. Right, so there was, this, there was this huge painting, right? It was pretty sick. I was like, I like this painting. I want to take a photo of it. And this couple, it's always a couple, they're just standing right in front of it and they're, once again, talking a foreign language, don't know what they're saying, and they're just talking back and forth. And I'm standing behind them, ready for them to move so I can take the photo. And I was, I was like, determined. I was like, I'm going to stick this out longer than you, right? I'm going to stand behind you and you're going to move and I'm going to take this photo, right? So I was doing a, a, an audio tour thing where you just listen to a thing and then they give you like a little device mm. and you can like click on it and it tells you about the artist yeah, yeah. and how he painted it, whatever. So it's like three, four minutes long for this one painting. So I listen to it, it's done. They're still standing there, right? So I'm standing there, I'm like, they're gonna move. They're gonna move any second now, any second. They're, they're not moving. I was like, fuck it. I listen to it again. I was like, why not? Might as well listen to it again. <laughs> Another three, four minutes go by. Yeah. I'm like, yep, yep, already heard this before. Yep, they're still standing there. They've been standing in front of this painting for a good, like over 10 minutes now. Oh, hello, Eleni. And in the end, they won. I was like, I can't fucking do this. So I left and I, I came back eventually, like 15 minutes later. I was like, thank fucking God, they're gone now. And I finally took the photo and then I moved on. But people are too wrapped in their own world, okay? There's other people in the museum that want to look at the painting and want to take photos of the painting. Okay, you can't just stand in front of it all day. You know what I mean? Um... Yeah. yeah. I just think it's a little bit inconsiderate. Well, like, I, I can see w what you, you mean, but surely you wouldn't have, if you're not so wrapped up, surely you wouldn't have cared. It's just like most of the paintings, was look, there's a, fucking, there's a lot of paintings in there. There's just a few that I'm like, I like that one, I want to get a photo of it. And there's just people standing right in front of it. But why do you want to get a away. photo of it? Memories. Memories, mate. You know Google what sort of annoys me? When people get selfies with the paintings. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like... But, yeah, but I can, like, if scroll through my phone and be like, oh, fuck, that painting. That was a brilliant painting. Oh, yeah, I can... If you felt like you missed out so much... No, I didn't. I can... 
get it. I can show you the Mona Lisa right now, if you want. Yeah, but I there's something about taking a photo of it like yourself. Like I can show you the Mona Lisa on my phone. Photo that I took. I took it. Not anyone else. I took the fucking photo. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. And <laughs> I just think people look. You can stand in front. Just don't look. Stand in front of it. Just don't stand right in front of it. Okay. Like prime, prime position. Okay. Okay. Anyway. I'm sh- yeah. Well, there you go. I'm surprised it wasn't. Uh, what nationality was the guy? French or something? Oh, it was definitely French. French. It's either the French or the Americans, definitely really, French. isn't it? Definitely um, French. You know what surprised me in Europe or the is that everyone speaks English. Yeah. Like everyone, and then people will be like, oh, sorry, my English isn't that good. It's like, mate, your English, I can understand you way better than I can understand like some fucking outback I Aussie, bet, yeah. you know what I mean? I bet, yeah, a lot of those Euro- Europeans. Europeans, you're one um, of them. Yeah, I am one of them. But I bet, yeah, they sp- a lot of them spoke like better English than me. <laughs> no, literally, yeah. they speak like very, very good English. I'm always like, they speak like English like it's their first language. Um, that's most of Europe. Italy, a little bit less so. France, not so much. No. They have a, you know, it's funny because they I... They don't like... I, I was... um don't like it. I was um, catching the train in Paris. And then so I got to this train station and every single train station I'd been before uh, has like tickets. We can buy like a train ticket, right? But for whatever reason, maybe I, maybe I just couldn't find it. I don't know. I just couldn't find the ticket the to get a ticket to to catch a train mm. and i was like fuck i was like i was like where is it i was like going mental and so i was like oh, i'll just ask this guy he's holding a ticket i was like oh, bonjour do you speak english and he's like oh a little bit and i was like oh do you know a ticket where do you know where i can get a ticket and he's just full on started speaking french to me <laughs> and i was like mate you speak a little bit of english <laughs> like i speak a little bit of french <laughs> Right, you don't speak any fucking English. <laughs> He's like, blah, 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 just full on speaking French. I'm like, yep, don't know what you said, mate. And then we just smiled and then he just pissed off. I was like, well, and then I just walked to a different train station. So you say the Italians and the French. The Italians don't speak much. Italians are better than the French. But they definitely. don't speak much English, a lot of them. No, they, no, 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 they do. They do speak English. Just like less so than like, like okay, when I was in um, Denmark... Everyone, it's like English is their first language. Same thing in yeah. Amsterdam. Yeah. Everyone speaks English. You can just walk up to anyone. Hey, do you know where I can go to this? Blah, blah, blah. They'll just full on tell you in, in English. I think it's because it's like a bit of a universal language in Europe. Like if a German wants to talk to a Swede or a Spaniard, then they can sp- speak English, you know, like... Mm. Um, but yeah, I think the Italians speak a bit. They they're actually pretty good at German. The Italians. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? That's random as fuck. It's not. Is there more pizza? It's not random. Oh yeah, I'll tell you a funny story in Italy. Yeah. Um. So, I had. I had crutches. Right. That's another story. Right. But for the sake of the story, I had I was carrying crutches with me. Right. Yeah. So we're going from Milan to uh, Lake Como in Italy. Yeah. And so first we catch the train. The train was so... I've never been on a, a train so packed in my life, right? And at the same time, I've got suitcase, backpack, holding crutches, mm-hmm. right? Then we got onto the bus. Mate, the bus made me miss the train. The bus was so packed, right? Eventually, a few people start getting off and there's like a, a free seat. And I see this like older woman... And I'm like, I tap her on the shoulder. I was like, oh, would you like to sit on this seat? And then she starts like speaking Italian. She starts speaking Italian. And then these like younger boys who are standing next to the seat, they're like speaking Italian. Now everyone's speaking Italian. No one on this bus spoke English. Mm. And then so they're all speaking Italian. And then they all start looking at me. And then I was just like, uh, I only speak English. I don't know what's going on. And they're like gesturing to the seat. They're like, oh, sit, sit on the seat. I was like, no, 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 that, that was for the, the woman. Like, oh, I'm okay. They're like, no, 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 no. And they're like, they're not speaking English. They're just speaking Italian. So I sort of shit myself. I'm like, uh, okay. And I just sit on the seat. And I was like, that was so weird. Like, why did they give me the seat? And then I realized I'm holding these crutches. So they think I'm like disabled. 
and I can't <laughs> like stand properly. And I was just like, I'm like perfectly physically able. And they just offered me the seat, and I was like, oh god, I feel Shit. so embarrassed. Mate, I should carry some crutches with me. And on then my I way couldn't explain myself. Work. I couldn't be like, no, 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 I don't need the crutches because they don't speak English. Mm. They, only, they speak Italian. <laughs> So I was just like, you had to oh. play the part a bit. I was just like, oh, whatever. I'll just I'm take the disabled. seat. <laughs> oh, I'll just take the seat, mate. I deserve it. Um, uh, we uh, we like we're gonna have to get off. What's the time? It's nine o'clock. Well, what's the plan, Riley? How long has this podcast been going for? Like two hours. Probably an hour and a bit. Keep, keep talking. Keep talking. All right. Shall I got another keep story? Keep talking. Okay. Oh, I can't. I've got to get off in a bit. We do have to get off in a bit. All right, I'll tell another story. I thought. Okay, one more. Um, one more Europe story. So I went. Uh, basically. Get in there. I had a great topic. I had a great topic. So, I has everyone seen the Barbie movie here? Nope. No. No one's seen it. Fuck. Barbie movie is for what, Luke? <laughs> I was just going to say, it's the first half of the Barbie movie, I just realised today, it's just Elf. It's just Elf. That's what it is going to be. Elf is a great down. movie, though. It Elf. is. But I haven't seen Barbie and... Oppenheimer. I just feel like Barbie is for, like, mm. kids or... Or, or who? Or... Um, some other kids. Yeah. <laughs> some other kids. I just don't think it's like... I don't know, but I will watch it. I'll, I'll give it a watch. It. What is your favourite Christmas movie? Anyone. Anyone in the crowd can answer this. I hate Christmas movies. Elf is What a shit opinion. opinion. How can you hate Christmas movies? You don't like joy? I've never had Christmas like that. Anyway. Home Alone's great. Home Alone's a great answer. Everyone loves Home Alone. Home Alone 1 and 2. Both amazing movies. What about the... Um the one with the Home Alone with a different kid. Was that like Home Alone three or four? Yeah. Or something? I've never watched those. They're not worth watching. If yeah. it does have Macaulay Culkin in it, I'm not watching it. I know. He kind of just like he made was a beast, it. mate. Yeah. He was actually like a really good child actor. Yeah. He's a bit fucked up now. No, nah, I don't think he is. Oh, he definitely is. It looks He's like not. a fucking meth head. Mate, you are. He was like mate with Michael Jackson. He definitely he 100 percent got molested no. by Michael Jackson. <laughs> no, you. You are being. You have. You, you watch. You've been on either what, Facebook, what, mate? Facebook, or <laughs> you've been on Facebook. No, you've been on Facebook. No, you've been on Facebook. No, you've been on Facebook because you've seen some picture that the Daily Mail or whatever, whatever crappy media company is trying to smear. Nine gag. Get you know clicks on. Macaulay Culkin becoming a meth head, you know, like. Just, have you seen him? Okay, he might have had a. a, a he might, he have, might been, have done a little bit of meth. He might have been hungover, and <laughs> they just like caught no, but his body. Him. He's like he's tiny. Yeah, he's not. A and big he's guy. like he's so big so frail. He's never been a big guy. Yeah, but I don't know, mate. I reckon. I don't know. I saw him on the Joe Rogan podcast. You've been he on wasn't. Facebook. You've been on Facebook. <laughs> What's your favorite Christmas movie? Uh, Elf. Elf's a good one. It just always makes me laugh. Like, Elf is good. Always. I could probably watch Elf within three weeks of each, like, each watch. You know, I could watch <laughs> Elf and then watch it again three weeks later and be yeah. just as happy, just as... Elf's more like a once a year thing for me. I freaking... There's nothing I better. I'm not, I'm not I couldn't disagree with Elf anymore. anymore. <laughs> nothing better than Christmas time with the fam. Excuse me. Watching Christmas movies. Personally, my favourite is The Grinch. Yeah, would you? You've never seen The Grinch. The Grinch gets better and better the the, the older, older you get. get. Oh, one hundred percent. Why does it get better? Because you get it as a kid. You're like, oh, this is a bit silly, funny. But then you watch it as a, as an adult. Jim Carrey. And you realize how like hilarious it is. Jim Carrey, one of the uh, yeah. Ones. Nah. Are you taking the piss? The cartoon the cart- one. It, this can't just said the cartoon one. The cartoon one. one. As if. As oh, if you, you, know, oh, you know what's my favorite Christmas movie? The cartoon Grinch that yeah. came out in like 2018. Yeah. No, that was that's older. The cartoon one's older than that. Are you making more like pages? The old old cartoon oh, right. one. Well, it's like, it's it's old, good old for old kids, but. One, there's a new cartoon one, and there's the Mate, when you say the Grinch, we're talking about Jim Carrey. Carrey. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Don't piss me off. When the Whovilles <laughs> go up the mountain, 
and the dog scares him away. That's the best bit. Yeah, everything or, about it is just hilarious. Okay, Riley, have you ever seen um, what's that? Um, the Cat in the Hat with uh, Mike Myers? I actually haven't. Neither. But from what I've seen, it's just like a shit version of The Grinch. I was a bit scared of the cat in the hat. <laughs> it is uh, a bit scary. I saw it when I was a kid. I liked it when I was a kid, but then I don't think it would be as good nowadays. The Grinch is like more relatable than Cat in the Hat. Even though I haven't watched <laughs> more it. More relatable. <laughs> you yeah, can relate like, more to this hairy I green know, creature yeah, than you he, can for this life-sized cat. Yeah, but the the Grinch is like... You, such a good movie. Grinch is just like a better made movie. <sighs> I can't even put my finger on it, why it's so good, but it just is. Look at this. Oh. Oh. A bit of action. A bit of action, mate. Guard dogs are popping off. What movies have you guys seen? <sighs> Megan. I've been in Europe, mate. I haven't watched any movies. I watched Megan. Oh, okay. Let me just say this. Yep. Watch Megan on what, Netflix. What is it? Explain to the audience what that is. Megan is a movie about... Um, Some people are arriving now. A child... Right, who loses her? She's like eight years old, loses her parents in a car crash. Devastating. Right? And her parents, Hello? Brody. Uh, how are you going? What's happening? You did get mentioned on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've, but you've had a feature. Yeah, I was on episode one. Um. Anyway, Megan, right? Yeah. Loses her parents. Awful. Um. She goes to live with her aunt. And her aunt is like a robot, robotics woman. Like she makes robots. Yep. And is this a new movie? Yeah. Okay. And she created a, another like child, like eight years old, robot child, which is AI. And basically it's like becomes her best friend. And then <laughs> it's just how AI takes, you know, takes over. You know, like mm. you give an AI Is it like a scary? Command. Yes. Okay, I think I know the movie you're talking it about. It is scary. Like, I actually was sc- freaked out by it. It wasn't like that It wasn't like scary, The Conjuring or anything. But it was, you know, it had a bit of depth to it as well, you know, like... Mm-hmm. Good movie. Megan, okay. What would you give it, it out of 10? Give it a, a good 8. I'll we'll have to give it a watch. You know what um, show I, like, absolutely ran through? Yeah. Black Mirror. So, before oh. I went to Europe... I hadn't seen a single episode of Black Mirror, right? Uh, two weeks into my European summer, I'd watched the entire show. I watched every single episode. <laughs> so I watched the majority of the episodes. The on new the, ones? On the, oh, every single one. From, so you from season one to season six, I've seen every single one. Oh, okay. Within, like, within two weeks. Because on the... The you new know, ones are a bit shit, aren't they? <sighs> disagree. New ones are really good. The new, new ones, not as good as the old ones. I disagree. I disagree. So you've seen you've seen all of them. I've seen all of them, and then I watched about three of the new ones. Which ones did you watch? The, the new, new s- season is actually really good. I would say no. it's like one of the better seasons. No way. Have you seen? Okay, Eleanor, you've seen it. Have you all of them? Was, Have you seen that like so the bad. lock was, episode, so the one bad. with like uh, the? Thanks, um, I'm back. It's like. They make uh, a documentary about like these murders that happened um, in like their little oh, village, yes, yes, yes. and then you find out like it was his parents yeah. like all along. Yeah, that e- that's like my favorite episode. I I like I watched that episode and I like rewatched it again like straight afterwards. Okay, I haven't seen that. That one's fucking good, man. That's like my favorite one. Okay, <laughs> you said I'm that getting with anger. I'm getting passionate yeah. about this, yeah. but it's so good. Like, okay, I, I you know. Like, you know when something's you know, like a movie or TV show, whatever. Oh, Jesse. Oh, you Jesse was alright. Who's Jesse? The space one. Yeah. That was great. That was a great one. My favourite one was the one where the doctor... There was the doctor and he could... F- they made it... They made it... Had an invention so where So, like, they, pain is good. Yeah. That one's okay. You have watched all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I'm not lying, mate. The earlier seasons... Okay, the worst episode is probably episode two. Which when, one was that? When they were, like, on the bike. And, like, the more you're on the bike, the more money you get. And then you go to, like, the talent, uh, the talent oh, show yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. episode just fucking sucks. Yeah. That episode and then the Miley Cyrus ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. They both... They're the worst episodes. 
But Oh yeah, that's a good one. But that's not like the new season. It. What do you mean? It's so hard to watch. I can't watch it. <laughs> what do you mean it's hard to watch? I watched it. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, but they like video. Like, yeah. No one can hear you on the podcast, by the way. Ellie. No one can hear you on the podcast, by the way. You're gonna get close to the mic. Yeah. I don't care. She don't care. Should we wrap up or? Um, we should. Wrap I've up. been Luke Wagstaff. And I've been. Thank you, for, thank you, Luke, and yeah. And I've been Jack Skelly. And by the way, Luke and Jack and Ellie. By the way, if you need any electrical work done, Luke Wagstaff. Is your man, all right? If you need any screws, if you need any uh, merchandise, need any connectors, <laughs> connectors. right? <laughs> Jack, need any fasteners? Jack, you don't go make to connectors. go to Simpson Strong Tie. They don't make connectors. Simpson Strong Tie. They do. What? what you, how can you tell me about my own job? Of course, they make connectors. <laughs> they make connectors, right. despite what he says. They make screws. They make. Um, Fasteners. All right, mate. If you need any of that shit, go to Simpsons Strong Tie. Very good product. You know, it might be on the pricier range, but you know, you pay for what you get. You know, the good quality. Quality. Thank you, everyone. See you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. <laughs>